Uh, so my name's Luke Solomon. Um, I'm playing Echo 3. I've deployed all around the world. I've had a very uh, fortunate career in what is, uh, compared to my colleagues, a short time. Um, but yeah, I've been uh, been very fortunate to have deployed to the areas that I've deployed um, and done the jobs that I've done. So my specialisation um, is a landing craft coxswain. Um, I started that career in 2013. And as I said, very fortunate to have deployed uh, to areas such as the Caribbean, Sierra Leone, uh, Norway, to the jungle in Belize, um, amongst other places around the Middle East. Um, I've, had a, I've had a really good career. So what was it that made you want to get involved with Summary? Uh, blackmail. Uh, I was being blackmailed. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, no, so I uh, have worked with one of the creators, Sam Seeley, uh, on numerous projects before. Um, nothing as meaty as this. Seeing the style of creation and how well things are put together uh, from somebody who hasn't got any um, traditional training in this area, again, like my colleagues, um, it's an opportunity I couldn't, couldn't pass up um, to see the, the story evolve from when it was being discussed last year um, into what it is now is something that is, um, you know, you couldn't not want to be involved with, especially with how good the content gets, uh, gets created or how, uh, you know, how the, the creators uh, put it together. Echo 3, um, he's the kind of guy that you don't want your daughter to bring home. He's, uh, you would say, unhinged. Somebody who is always seeking that next thrill, isn't concerned with others' feelings, very unruly uh, and not overly focused on his, uh, the repercussions of his actions. When operational, when working with his men, his, his section, his, his lads, uh, is solely focused on the job, um, you know, is, is an extremely professional soldier. Just when you remove him out of that environment, he still has to, um, you know, live life at that maximum tempo that you would whilst in, in contact or, you know, in a war zone. Wants to embrace the fact that he is the worst version of himself. The worst version of himself is, is the best version of himself. Um, and that's something that he fully embraces and goes with. And that is, um, you know, something that he, he really, really rolls into and goes out 110%. It's somebody that requires structure, something that a lot of people who've been in the military will have experienced this kind of character, the, the person who is always pushing it just that maybe a little bit too far. Um, but they're normally the people that, when they're faced with a good leadership, will really sort of be well led at the same time, especially when it comes to being a soldier, something I've definitely experienced in my career uh, with certain characters. And I think it's uh, a, a multi-layered narrative um, that is coming across. There's not, it's not a case of just being a, a violent film or series. Um, there's, there's a really important message in there for people who, um, you know, uh, uh, represent these characters or um, represent the struggles that these characters go through. And I think it's really important to show people um, that although we are um, war fighters in our, in our nature, that doesn't mean that we're not human. It's not, not easy being this good looking. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> <laughs>